Hi there, everybody. Uh, so, as you are well aware, we're not going to be able to be in school for a little while. Uh, so, I thought I'd put together this quick video just to show you how you're going to be doing e-learning with me over the next couple of, well, the next two weeks, um, and just talk to you about uh, particularly Google Meets Hangouts and how I want to use those uh, to help with your learning. Uh, so just to go over a couple of the uh, key expectations for you. Um, you are going to have your lessons as normal, but it will be on a modified timetable. So this has been told to you before, but just so you're really clear on it, uh, Monday to Thursday, uh, you have lessons at the times that are on the screen. Uh, you'll also have a tutor time uh, on Mondays and Thursdays at 8.45, where you'll just check in with your tutor and kind of talk about how things are going. Okay. Now, for these lessons, you need to actually attend them virtually. So, during lessons, you've got to actually be present. You've got to be present using uh, Google Meet, which is a tool I'm going to show you in a second. If you're not able to attend because um, you have technical problems or any other reasons, uh, then your parents need to contact Miss Irene as though it's a normal school day. When we're in the meets, there's obviously going to be quite a lot of people in each classroom, so it's really important that your microphone is muted unless you want to ask me a question. So if you want to answer a question or ask a question, you can unmute yourself and uh, talk, but the rest of the time you need to stay muted, otherwise it's going to be impossible for us to hear each other. Um, and then you'll be given class uh, tasks to complete either on Google Classroom or other websites, but I'll be staying in the Google Meet so you can come back and ask me questions whenever you like. Um, so, uh, so you may at that point want to mute uh, your speaker and mute your camera, but just keep a tab open uh, with the Google Meet in it so that you can come back and ask me questions. Also during lessons, I'm going to introduce a virtual mini whiteboard to you guys. I'll send a template out for, with it with this, um, but it's got three different coloured backgrounds. Um, so the first slide has instructions on there, um, and then there's a green, amber, and red mini whiteboard. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that it's streaming your uh, desktop so I can see what you're working on on your computer. Um, and what I want you to do, because there's going to be a lot of people there, I know sometimes it can be a little bit embarrassing or a little bit, um, you, can, you can feel a little bit pressured to unmute your microphone and say, hey, I'm stuck, um, when other people can hear it. So you might want to just uh, set to red or amber if you're having trouble. Um, alternatively, you, you can email me, but I won't be checking my emails during the lesson, so it makes a lot more sense if you can use this new whiteboard to ask me questions whenever you need to. So I'm going to show you how to join a Hangout. Um, what will happen is your teachers will give you a code on Google Classroom, and then you need to go to meet.google.com and just pull up the page that you'll see there. Now obviously I'm going to be starting uh, a Google Meet here, so it's going to um, just show me a few different things, but um, I'll just give you an idea. You're going to click here, join or start a meeting, and this will be the code or nickname uh, that the, the teacher will give you. So for instance, um, for my tutor group, I'm going to call it probably 12S, um, and just click continue straight away. Um, it'll take a few seconds while it switches on uh, the microphone and everything, um, and you may get some security requests. Um, so you may see something like this saying allow it to use your microphone and use your camera, so you just tick allow. Um, it may want to show you notifications again, you can click allow for that. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it may ask you to open your security preferences. Um, and do it that way. Now you can see uh, this is opened, hello, this has opened a different camera on my web cam, so you can see behind my green screen, oh god. Um, you can, if you have multiple cameras and multiple uh, devices, you can go to these three little dots down here and choose settings, uh, and then you can change the video to which camera you want. So if I'm using my streaming camera, I can switch it to that camera instead and click done. Uh, and it should, oh, it's all, my camera's already being, it, my camera's already in use. Um, so I'll leave it set on the uh, one that's looking at my nose, which would be lovely for you. Um, so let's set that back to this one. Uh, you might also want to check out, excuse me, you might also want to check out your audio. 
If you have headphones, wearing headphones will be really useful in these because it will just prevent uh, feedback. Um, so again, in these settings, uh, just check it um, and make sure that the speakers and microphone are ideally uh, your uh, headphones. Okay. When you've when you've done that, uh, you can just click join now, and it will add you into the meeting. So now you're in a meeting, um, and again, what's in the webcam here is appearing uh, for all users. So there I am. What I'm going to want you to do is I, I, I find it quite useful if I can see your uh, desktop. So I'll just get out of the way of my uh, stream. If you look down here, there's a button marked present now. So you must have muted your microphone. I probably should have done that earlier. Mute your microphone. And then what I want you to do is click present now and click present your entire screen. Now this will give you different options. Uh, obviously I've got two screens because I'm doing this as a recording, but you're just going to have one, so you'll just click your screen and then click share. Again, you may get some security warnings come up, just click through and allow all of those. Um, you'll see a, a few things and it will say you're presenting to everyone. Now when each person takes over, um, when they click presenting, they'll take over presenting for everybody. But it's important that you all do that um, because that will, like I say, let me see what's on your screen. Um, and just don't touch this button down here again. So you'll see the button here that says you are presenting. You can click it and click stop presenting. Don't click that because if you click that, I won't be able to see what's on your screen. And then I won't be able to see the mini whiteboard. Okay, so you're just going to leave that as stop presenting. What will happen is I will take over. Um, and then when once I've taken over, you will see my screen on the center of the page. Uh, it's useful having the mini whiteboard open in another tab. So this is my mini whiteboard. So I might ask you, hey guys, can you all remember uh, what's an alpha particle? And what you would do is just in the mini whiteboard, you would write that an alpha particle is a helium, but spelled correctly, nucleus. Um, and that way I'll be able to see your screen so I can see what, you're, what you've written and I can check your answer by just looking at all the little thumbnails. If you're not sure about the answer, you could do that um, and write the answer on a, a, an amber background so I know that you're a bit unsure. And if you're really struggling, you can do it on a red background. Um, so again, I know that, uh, you, I'm, that I'm not explaining this in a way that you can understand. Um, if I send you off to do some tasks, uh, you might want to click this button here just to mute your camera. Um, I appreciate you probably don't want people just staring at you the whole time, so you can use that to mute it. And again, like I say, if you suddenly decide, oh, I've got a question, you can unmute your camera and unmute your microphone and say, hey, Mr. Wright, can you talk to me, talk me through X, Y, Z? Um, and then I'll be able to talk to you. And then when you're finished, you can just mute your microphone again so that we don't all talk over the top of each other. Okay. Um, at the end of the lesson, uh, all you need to do is just click this button to leave the to leave the the, the lesson, um, and that will take you out, and you can return to the home screen to get ready for your next lesson. Um, like I say, leave the, those meets open in a tab while you're working. But obviously, I appreciate you might not want to uh, be on video, so you can mute the video while you're doing that. Okay. Um, so there may be a couple of questions or uh, things you might want to ask. Like I say, you're, you're welcome to ask me um, in our lessons. Um, but in case you can't hear anything, um, do check that your sound is working. Um, headphones really help. Um, if you see somebody's mouth moving and you can't see anything but you can hear other people, um, you might want to just uh, unmute and just remind them. Unmute your microphone. Um, echoes and screeching noise, that will be feedback. So what will happen is... Um, if your microphone is too close to your speakers, um, you can get feedback and that will make a noise or you might hear like kind of lots of echoes. Um, so again, using headphones will really help. Um, if you don't want to uh, talk um, and unmute, really you should just, just it, uh, as soon as you get over it, the easier it becomes. Um, but um, try and use your whiteboard so you can say, put it on red and say, help me. Um, but otherwise you're just gonna have to unmute. Um, and I know that a lot of you will probably want to record and you may notice there is a record option uh, in Google Hangouts. Um, but it's really important that everybody feels comfortable with what we're doing. So you can't take, you cannot record it, you cannot take screenshots because some people won't want their faces recorded um, and it's not fair to make them feel uncomfortable during this process. So 
I know that you probably will want a record of it. We will share every uh, resource that we have with you before the lesson and during the lesson and afterwards. Um, so hopefully that will be enough to get you through. If there's stuff that you're missing that you want us to go through in more detail, again, email me, talk to me uh, during our lesson. That's absolutely fine. But you must not record because we don't want people uh, feeling under pressure or uncomfortable during these sessions. Okay, I hope that was uh, useful to you. Um, if you do have questions, feel free to email me and ask, uh, but otherwise I will see you in our next lesson.